Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, Christmas is approaching very shortly and I'm going to show you an easy uh, glazed ham. Now, all hams are smoked and cooked, so if anyone asks, do I need to cook a ham? No, you don't mate. It's already smoked, okay? Talk to your local butchers. Don't go to the supermarkets. Anyway, got a ham. I've got the uh, leg end. So a whole ham should be about here, okay? You've got the leg, a center cup, and a chunk neck, okay? Now when you're glazing, I look for a little bit of fat. See that? You don't want too much fat, but you do want a little bit of fat. That helps it not to dry out, okay? Now, just gonna remove the skin. I'll try and show you here. It's gonna be hard to do it this way. I'm just making a little cup, just around here like that. Okay? And now I'm just going to pretty much peel it off with my hands now. See that? I'll cut it all the way around here. Alright. It doesn't have to come off in one piece, guys. Don't get too um, particular with it. But the idea is you don't want to rip all the meat off, okay? I don't mind if there's a little bit left on the hock because you can't really eat through that bone. Well, I've never seen someone eat a bone. Anyway, moving on. Uh, down here like that. And just the back. Now that's pretty much the skin removed, okay? Now what you want to do, this is only a small ham, because so I'm just feeding myself, because I'm so big. Uh, two kilos is this. But um, I always try and go on my diagonal, like this, one way. Okay? And then I come back the other way, crisscross. And you'll just notice that it just comes up just beautiful, okay? I will make some little marks in here, just let the flavour go in a tiny bit more. Uh, today I'm using Easy, a sherry and cranberry sauce uh, from work at McNabb Brothers. And we're just going to paste this on. I've got the oven preheated at 180, and I'm probably going to give it about oh, three coats. It is nice and thick. Sherry and cranberry. I cannot wait for this. So I'm going to make it nice and thick. I'm going to give it a good coating. It's been in the fridge. I probably should have left it out. But um, don't mind getting your hands all dirty. Because you've got salty on your hand, anything sweet will be good. Uh, brown sugar, stani, some cloves, orange juice, whatever. Mix it up, okay? So after the ham is glazed around all sides. Sorry, would it would be better if I didn't leave that glaze in the fridge, but that's what I did. Stupid as he. Alright, I've got it on the baking tray now there, and I'm just gonna hit it with some whole cloves. Okay? Just gonna put a few whole cloves around there. I don't think they they'll just bring out a nice, nice flavour. Couple on there. Uh, you don't need to wrap it because we want a nice thick glaze. So just pop it in the oven at 180. For 20 minutes, we're going to check it. We're going to keep glazing it. There it is after 10 minutes. Just gave it a second coat. So is looking the goods. Oh, what do we got here? Sister's making a potato and another salad behind the scenes. Potato salad. How are you? Pickles, bit of mustard, pickle juice. You've got to have pickle juice in your potato salad. What's the pickle juice um, do? Get it a bit salty, does it? Oh, it just tastes good. Oh, and there he is, hung over, hung over Harry over here. Oh, gee, where is his eyes are stuck? Oh, here's the hand from McNabb Brothers. Look at the slices. Now, because your hand's already cooked, you're just doing the glaze. Um, so I only did it for about 40 minutes, and I glazed about every 10 minutes. But, as you can see, it is delicious. Come in and see the boys and get your Christmas hand.